The most distant human-made object ever created drifts quietly through the cosmic darkness, a traveler named Voyager 1. It moves far beyond the glowing edge of our solar system where sunlight fades into endless space. Even from that distance, it feels like a living memory of our curiosity, a reminder that humans once dared to send something so small into such a huge unknown. Half a century ago, this tiny spacecraft launched from a blue planet full of life. Even now, after all these years, it still speaks across the void. Every message it sends travels through billions of miles, crossing a space so empty and cold that nothing could survive there. Each whisper from Voyager takes almost a full day of travel time before it reaches our world. What starts as a faint pulse of radio energy becomes a story that scientists decode back on Earth. That is not just a mission. It is a miracle of engineering and perseverance. Voyager 1 was never meant to last this long. Its creators expected it to survive a few years, take some pictures, and then fade into quiet darkness. But it kept going, becoming a silent traveler through the universe. Its journey has outlived many of the people who worked on it. Some of the original engineers are now retired or gone, yet their work continues to move farther than anything else humans have touched. Its creators thought it would return only a handful of discoveries before dying. Instead, this tiny machine became our most distant messenger, a flicker of life moving through the cold night. Built with technology older than a cassette player, running on memory smaller than a digital photo, it still finds a way to send us signals. Those signals travel through the cosmic wind, crossing billions of miles to reach Earth. Recently, that faint voice carried something strange, a rhythmic and unexpected signal that shook NASA scientists. They looked at their screens, puzzled by patterns they had never seen before. What did Voyager 1 hear out there in the interstellar darkness? Why did the signal look like the spacecraft was trying to speak in a new way? To understand this mystery, we travel back to the 1970s, when the mission first began. During that time, scientists dreamed of exploring the outer solar system, but reaching Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune would normally take too long. Decades of travel, huge amounts of fuel, and years of waiting made it seem nearly impossible. But then an engineer named Gary Flandro discovered something incredible. Using only a pencil and a slide rule, he found a rare planetary alignment that happens once every 176 years. This alignment creates a cosmic doorway. A spacecraft could hop from planet to planet, using their gravity to slingshot itself forward. This discovery changed everything. It turned a dream into a possible mission. If NASA moved fast, they could use this once-in-a-lifetime alignment. Miss it? and humanity would have to wait nearly two centuries to try again. NASA approved the mission, and in the summer of 1977, two spacecraft were launched, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. They left Earth only 15 days apart, rising into the sky on top of powerful rockets. Their mission was simple but bold. Study the outer planets, and if they survived that journey, continue sailing into the interstellar sea. Each Voyager carried a special golden record, a message designed for alien civilizations. It included the sounds of Earth, laughter, waves, thunder, music, and greetings in 55 languages. It was a time capsule floating through space, containing the heartbeat of our planet. Voyager 1 reached Jupiter first. It recorded massive storms, lightning flashes, swirling clouds, and the Great Red Spot, a giant storm bigger than Earth. It found volcanoes erupting on the moon Io, proving that moons could be geologically alive. Later, Voyager 1 traveled toward Saturn, where it studied the planet's beautiful rings. It discovered that the moon Titan had a thick atmosphere filled with organic molecules, 
the building blocks of life. Voyager 2 followed a different path. It became the first spacecraft to visit Uranus and Neptune, discovering icy winds, methane storms, and mysterious dark spots on Neptune. The two voyagers became legends. Their images transformed our understanding of the solar system. But their greatest story did not begin until the cameras turned off and the planets faded behind them. Voyager 1 drifted toward the heliopause, the invisible border where the sun's influence ends and interstellar space begins. With only 69 kilobytes of memory and a transmitter weaker than a light bulb, it kept talking to Earth. Its messages were faint, but NASA kept listening. Each transmission took 22 hours to reach Earth. Another 22 hours were needed for a reply to return through the void. When scientists studied Voyager's signal, they found something shocking. The rhythm matched a low-frequency plasma wave, but it behaved in a way never seen before. It seemed to move against the interstellar wind, almost like something invisible had bounced Voyager's own signal back toward it. NASA called it a plasma echo, a ripple in space, like a reply from the darkness. No one could fully explain it. As Voyager keeps traveling, its power slowly fades. Its energy source, a radioisotope generator, weakens each year. NASA has begun to turn off its instruments one by one to conserve power. By 2030, the spacecraft's voice may go silent forever. Even then, it will continue moving through space like a ghost ship, carrying the dreams of Earth. In the distant future, Voyager will enter the Oort Cloud, a region filled with icy comets at the edge of the solar system. After that, it will drift into the Milky Way, a tiny dot in a huge ocean of stars. The golden record inside will still exist, protected by the spacecraft's metal shell. It will hold the sounds and memories of Earth, a message for anyone who might find it. Scientists have often talked about what might happen if an alien civilization discovered Voyager. Astrobiologist Jill Tata once said, if someone finds Voyager, they will discover that we were a species that wanted to say hello, not hide. Astronomer Carl Sagan, who helped design the Golden Record, believed it showed the best of humanity, captured in one small spinning disk. In 40,000 years, Voyager 1 will pass near another star. Humanity may be completely different by then. We may live on other planets or have vanished from the universe. But Voyager will keep drifting, carrying our hopes and memories. It shows that curiosity can last longer than the people who created it. Many scientists say that Voyager is more than a spacecraft. It is a symbol of human courage, a reminder that we always look beyond the horizon. Every faint signal it sends home proves that imagination can cross the borders of time. Voyager 1 now sails through a region no eye has ever seen. It listens to the interstellar wind and maps magnetic fields that twist like invisible rivers. NASA scientists still gather in control rooms, watching faint dots appear on their screens. They listen for a signal weaker than a snowflake falling on the ground, yet louder than silence in the universe. Every message they receive feels like a heartbeat from a distant traveler. They treat the spacecraft almost like a living thing, a friend that continues its journey no matter how far it goes. The story of Voyager inspires not only scientists but also artists, writers, and everyday dreamers. It encourages new generations to imagine what lies beyond the stars. Many students write essays or build models of Voyager for school projects. Teachers use the mission to show that science is not just numbers and formulas, but adventure and imagination. Children often ask NASA if Voyager will ever come home. While it will never return, it brings something more powerful than physical presence. It brings knowledge. 
Every discovery it sends back changes our understanding of the universe. It teaches that the unknown is not something to fear, but something to explore. Voyager moves, through a place where mysteries wait in every corner. Scientists debate what else it might one day detect. Some think it could measure strange waves or magnetic pulses from distant stars. Others think it might reveal how interstellar particles drift and collide in ways we have never observed before. Even if the spacecraft never sends another surprise, the possibility keeps researchers watching. Its golden record remains one of the most interesting parts of its journey. The record carries images and sounds that show Earth's diversity. It includes greetings in dozens of languages, including messages from children, scientists, and people from around the world. It holds music ranging from classical symphonies to simple folk songs. Each sound captures a piece of humanity. If an alien civilization ever discovers Voyager, they will hear the heartbeat of our oceans and the quiet breath of our forests. They will hear birds, thunder, laughter, and the rhythm of rain. They will hear the voices of people who lived long before them. In those sounds, they may understand that Earth was a world full of life, hope, and curiosity. Many scientists have shared emotional thoughts about Voyager. Astronomer Andruyan, who helped create the Golden Record, said, Voyager carries a love letter from Earth to the cosmos. Engineer John Cassini said, We built something that will outlast every building, every city, maybe even our species. Voyager continues to move where imagination meets infinity. Its story reminds us that exploration is not just about reaching new places, but about asking new questions. Every step, every signal, every discovery pushes us forward. The spacecraft shows that humans can build something that travels farther than our own lives allow. When you look up at the night sky, remember that somewhere out there, beyond planets and comets, Voyager 1 still drifts. It whispers through the cold darkness, carrying our story through the galaxy. Every echo across the void shows that the human spirit cannot be silenced by distance or time. It proves that curiosity is stronger than fear, and wonder lasts longer than metal. People around the world still follow Voyager's updates. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.